Hi, this is Arna. Welcome to the channel. Today we are going to talk about what is gas. So I get this question quite a lot in which people ask me about what is gas, what is gas limit, what is gas price and what does max transaction fee mean. So I'll try to explain all these terms in this video and we will go through an analogy as well. We'll go through an analogy which explains these terms in better way and hopefully after the video you'll never get confused regarding what is gas in the Ethereum network. Okay, so yeah, let's talk about gas today. So uh, if we consider a transaction on the Ethereum blockchain, what happens is when we do a transaction, maybe if we are sending Ether to a friend or maybe we are deploying a smart contract on the Ethereum blockchain, we uh, sign our transaction and we send it through a node. Uh, we send it through a wallet usually. So if say we are using a MyEther wallet, then MyEther wallet uh, guys, they have a, a MyEther wallet node and they push our transaction to a pool of transactions which are uh, not verified and which uh, would be verified by the miners and the what miners do after this step is they pick uh, transactions which are high gas price at a certain moment of time and they choose transactions from that pool and these are then uh, added to the blockchain by the miners and the cost that we pay essentially is the cost uh, for mining and we are paying the cost to the miners so uh, yeah this is how the whole uh, system of the transaction is works out from it getting signed and finally being added to the ethereum blockchain and getting added there forever so what what we actually pay to the miners is the transaction fee and that transaction fee is a multiplication of gas limit and gas price and what we get is a price in ether which can be uh, converted to an equivalent of a fiat maybe say usd or rupee or euro or something like that so uh, what happens is the total transaction cost that we uh, that is associated to that transaction is given by the formula gas limit time times gas price so what and one when uh, typically when people mean gas they are referring to gas limit this gas limit uh, is what they are referring to and uh, now let's actually go through an analogy and try to understand what uh, does it mean to pay money in uh, for the transaction fee and what do these terms actually mean uh, and maybe going through a real world example uh, will explain these terms in a better way so uh, imagine say uh, you are going on a very big road trip and you are going uh, on a car and uh, you need some fuel you need maybe diesel uh, to power your road trip and to enable your road trip to to go through now say you actually uh, need five gallon of diesel at max to go through your road trip from start to end point but to be on the safer side of things you actually decide to uh, use 10 gallons you fill your tank with 10 gallons of diesel and the price per gallon of diesel is 2.5 so the total cost that you put in for in your tank would be 25 dollars Okay, so this is what is the same of a vehicle. Now, similarly, when we are uh, planning, when we are, when we have, when we are putting a transaction on the Ethereum blockchain, what we specify is this gallon sort of thing, which is actually units of gas. So in this scenario, say we have 21,000 units of gas. So we specify this amount of units of gas and we specify the price per unit of gas. Okay, so this, when multiplied gives the amount of ether that would uh, that we would use that may be the maximum amount of ether that we are willing to use uh, for our transaction to go through for so in the earlier case uh, what the thing was that we were planning for a vehicle to go through from start point to end point now we are uh, looking at a transaction to go through from start to end point on the ethereum blockchain okay so this is how the whole analogy works out and what what are some interesting points is say uh, i specify gas limit in like in this case the gas limit is 250000 okay uh, units and the gas price is 4 goai and what this goai is actually one goai is 10 to the power minus 9 ether or 10 uh, or 1 billion goai make up one ether so the gas price is 4 and when we multiply these we get the total amount 
the maximum transaction that we are willing to use and that comes out to be 10 to the power minus 3 ether or 0 0.29 usd um, and this is an old uh, screenshot so this is the amount of uh, money or ether that we are willing to pay at max for our transaction to go through and say uh, what happens is uh, our transaction only used half of these uh, half of the gas limit or maybe half of the fuel as in the case of car so what what would happen is we would get back the uh, value of uh, value the remaining value into our ether wallet so say our transaction used uh, 125000 gas limit or uh, units of gas and if we multiply that by 4 we get 0 0.145 usd that would be the amount of gas that was used for a transaction to go through and the remaining we'll get back in the wallet and this is similar to the case for the vehicle say for the vehicle if we specify the gallon as uh, uh, 10 and uh, we paid 2.5 per gallon then the total money would be 25 dollars and say we uh, after the when the road trip finally was completed we ended up only using five gallons at 2.5 dollars so we ended up using 12.5 dollar worth of uh, fuel or diesel and what we can do is we can go to the diesel store and we can sell our diesel and get back our money into our account so similar is the case with the ethereum transaction as well and what do these terms actually simply uh, signify is um, whenever we are doing a, a, an ethereum transaction it takes up the money that you are paying for is actually um, the money the the miners they are running the people who have the nodes they have something known as ethereum virtual machine and they are they are running the code of smart contracts and transactions there and we are paying for that computing power so when we specify the gas limit we uh, and we specify the maximum amount of computing power in a way that we are uh, going to use and the gas price is the unit per computing power that we are using and why we specify these two terms is so gas limit is something we specify because uh, maybe say if you are familiar with programming you would know uh, for loops and you know that sometimes uh, or while loop so sometimes in a while loop it's very easy to go and to, to an infinite loop so what would happen in that case is our program or our smart contract would keep on running and it will keep on consuming the computing power of the network and the hence the cost associated with the transaction will actually be might will be exponential and it will deplete our wallet balance so ethereum specified this thing of gas limit is the which specifies the maximum amount of computing power that we are going to use so that is why we have this thing of gas limit and why we have gas prices it is for the miners so um, gas prices for maybe if you want your transaction to go through early you should specify a higher gas price and because we need to incentivize the miners and miners only care about money and like which is the case for everyone so um the they would mine transactions that are going to pay higher uh, gas uh, price associated with it so that is the function of gas price and so this this is a guide which i am going through my ether wallet site and they have mentioned that during normal times when the gas price price is 40 guai or 40 into 10 to the power minus 9 ether the block will uh, almost get your transaction will go through almost on the next block of the blockchain and if the price is say 20 guai then it would take some within uh, your transaction will go through within next few blocks maybe three four or something like that blocks and when it's like two guai even lesser than that then it would take some minutes for your transaction to go through yeah so this was all regarding what is gas and hope you learned something and hope your concepts regarding what exactly is gas in the ethereum network are clear now and please like the video if you learned something and subscribe to the channel for future videos in bitcoin blockchain ethereum icos and cryptocurrencies okay bye bye